Today I'm reviewing the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. I'm also going to be sharing a few of my favorite ideas from the book to help you build better habits starting today. Like right now. This book is awesome because there is no fluff. He shares proven strategies that actually work. Plus, he makes it really easy for us to understand so we can apply these strategies to help us build better habits. Let me start off by saying how quotable this book is. There are so many powerful quotes, including one of my favorites, which is, you do not rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems. I love that. James talks about the difference between goals and systems. Think about it. In the beginning, winners and losers, they have the same goal. But the difference is the people who win, they figured out how to create the right systems to ensure they make daily progress to help them achieve that goal. There is so much incredible information in this book, it was really hard for me to decide which takeaways I wanted to share. But I chose three and one great exercise I really enjoyed and thought you would too. The first takeaway is the habit stacking formula. So James says one of the best ways for us to build a new habit is to identify a habit you already do each day and then stack your new habit on top of it. Brilliant, right? Makes sense. So this makes the habit easier for us to do. So for example, if you are trying to build a habit of more gratitude, you could say that when you sit down for every meal each night, you're going to say one thing that you're grateful for. And after I read that, I thought, hey, you could actually stack another habit on top of that. And after you say what you're thankful for, maybe you text someone thank you for something they've done or tell them why you appreciate them. For me, I was trying to create a better writing habit every day, so I applied the habit stacking formula by committing to write for at least 10 minutes every evening after I created my priority list for the next day. So this helped me stay on track. So think about it for you. What one habit are you trying to start and how can you use this formula to get it going? Takeaway number two, make it easy and most importantly, just get in the reps. So lots of people throw out theories about the number of days it takes to form a new habit. In fact, James says that one of the most common questions he gets asked is, how long does it take to build a new habit? But what we should really be asking is, how many does it take to form a new habit? Meaning, how many repetitions are required to make that habit automatic? So we like don't even have to think about doing it. So it's all about getting in the reps of that new habit that you want to implement. It's about doing the activity over and over so it just becomes automatic and we don't have to think about it, which is why we need to make the habit as easy as possible. For example, if you want to make healthier food choices, make sure your refrigerator is always full of healthy options. If you want to start working out in the morning, Set your workout clothes and your sneakers out before you go to bed the night before. You know, make it easy so we don't have to think about it, so we actually just do it. Takeaway number three, use the two minute rule. When it comes to changing our habits, we know we should probably start small, but most of us, what do we do? We try to go all in right away because, you know, we get excited, we wanna change that habit. But a more effective strategy is when you start a new habit, it should take less than two minutes. So for example, read before bed each night turns into read one page. We can do that, right? I love this tip so much because I've used it in my life with writing. I kept, I kept trying to sit down and write down thousands of words and create full articles and full pieces every time I wrote. And what was happening was I realized that I was just getting really overwhelmed and then I would end up not writing anything for that day because, you know, overwhelm, then procrastination, all that stuff. But the goal of sitting down and writing for two minutes, that, that I can do. And what quickly happened was after two minutes, I would get in the groove, right? I would get in my flow and I would just keep going. So we need to kind of trick our brains and just start small because it helps us to build the momentum we need to create that habit. 
Okay, are you ready for a fun exercise? I loved doing the habit scorecard. If we expect to create better habits, first, we need to know our current habits, right? It makes sense. Unless we're conscious of it, we probably don't notice all of the daily habits. So this is a really fun exercise to become more aware of our behaviors. So here's how to do the habit scorecard. First, you have to, throughout the day, make a list of your daily habits. So everything from the time you wake up, maybe you wake up, you have some water, you brush your teeth, maybe you check your phone, whatever it is that you do, just list everything that you do throughout the day. Then you have to decide, you have to look back at that list and say, is this a good habit or a bad habit or a neutral habit? So if it's a good habit, you write a plus next to it. If it's a bad habit, you write a negative next to it. And if it's a neutral habit, you write an equal sign next to it. This is such an eye-opening activity. We really get to understand our habits and only then can we decide where we need to make some changes that will truly make the biggest impact in our life and help us reach our goals. Have so much fun with it. Like I said, it would take me way too long to do a video sharing everything that I learned from this awesome book. There's a reason why it became such a hit. James did an amazing job describing the process of creating better habits. He shares great stories and examples to help us understand these ideas so we can actually apply them and use them in our life. Have you read Atomic Habits? What was your favorite takeaway? And if you haven't, which of the ideas I shared today resonated with you most? Share your thoughts in the comments. And if there is a book that you would like me to review, add that in the comments too. I am always looking for great book recommendations. This is definitely one of those life-changing books everyone should read. I added the link to the book in the description below. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. I also invite you to subscribe to my channel so we can stay connected. I will see you next time.